Our Decision Desk HQ models give Republicans an 80% chance of controlling the House of Representatives, 55% chance of taking back the Senate. In other words, Mr. Biden will have to work with likely House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. And if he's lucky, his old Senate friend and current minority leader Mitch McConnell, although there are rumblings of a more ultra mega Senate majority leader possibility. Niall Stanage here, White House columnist for our partners at the Hill. So has the White House figured out how to do this come January? Of these are, you know, we, we called you a threat to democracy, but now we actually have to do the business of the American people? Well, I'm not sure that they see a lot of potential for any kind of bipartisan agreement on anything very much, except the absolute bare necessities. Obviously, the debt ceiling is something that is going to come up uh, early next year, most likely. We don't know exactly when that will be reached. But beyond that, when I talk to people at the White House, what they're worried about are things like the Republicans launching investigations, things that might bog the White House down for a protracted period of time. So from my uh, reporting, I think the White House is more inclined to dig the trenches a little deeper or batten down the hatches rather than to search in a way that they think is illusory for some uh, grounds for bipartisan uh, compromise. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, concern, if you will, uh, that, that saying these things are going to somehow, you know, Paint the waters, if you will. Um, you think about the investigations that uh, Jim Jordan, Kevin McCarthy, and the like have, have basically promised, right? Uh, Hunter Biden, Anthony Fauci, uh, some of the CDC work on transgender issues. Uh, they've talked uh, extensively <clears throat> uh, about these. Which one is most concerning to the White House? Well, I think on a personal level, the Hunter Biden issue. Now, the White House is very adamant in uh, making clear their view that the, there's not a wrongdoing, there's not some scandal as, as uh, places on the right and politicians on the right would claim. But simply by virtue of the fact that the president is so fiercely protective of his family, that a probe into Hunter Biden's dealings would be so personal by its nature. I don't think it is right to say the White House is fearful of it. I think it is right to say that they are more sensitive to that one than, say, an investigation into Anthony Fauci, which is likely to feed into lines that have already crystallized about what was right or wrong to do in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, it certainly seems as though the Republicans, we had Jim Jordan on the show a couple of days ago, really pro promising to go as far as they could on Afghanistan uh, investigations, uh, and certainly Fauci and the origins of, the, uh, of COVID and, and the like. Also some discussion about, about the FBI and its investigations of parents and school boards on and on. It's interesting because the, the president that we saw making his closing arguments for the midterms uh, is so different uh, than the President Biden at his inauguration. Take a listen. And I pledge this to you. I will be a president for all Americans, all Americans. And I promise you, I will fight as hard for those who did not support me as for those who did. Suffice it to say, the rhetoric has changed. Uh, the man may have changed. Certainly, the White House doesn't act like that anymore. Is there any realization of that or discussion of it, or has that time passed? Well, I mean, I think the White House's perspective is that that attempt to reach out didn't work. That's their view. Now, Republicans, of course, would have a very different view and would believe that the president sort of forsook his attempt to be a conciliator. But the White House looks at yeah. things like the fact that, yes, for example, it did pass an infrastructure bill. Some Republicans who voted for that bill, like Congressman Fred Upton, got death threats for voting for an infrastructure bill. So from the president's perspective, they look at things like that and think, where is the ground or the leeway for reaching common agreement? And that's why I think the tone has changed to one that strikes a much more vigorous contrast. Yeah, it certainly, certainly has changed drastically. And, and Republicans never really even seemed to indicate they wanted to work much with President Biden. And now, obviously, we've seen it. Uh, hey, Niall, it's good to see you. Thank you. Uh, rest up this weekend. We'll uh, look forward to having you on the set for election night. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.